Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Layla and today we are going to restore some file cabinets. I have had them sitting around my house for years and they just need a facelift. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you how I do my file cabinets. So these are my file cabinets. I've got a metal one and I've got a wood one. They've both been used for years and they just need a general phase lift. They may not look like anything now, but I've got some great ideas on how to fix that up. I've come up with two different ideas for them. The metal file cabinet is going to get a new coat of rust prevention primer, a new coat of paint, a faux wood grain finish on the drawers, and some new hardware. The wood file cabinet is going to get a fun dollar store hack, a new coat of paint, a little rustic distressing, and we're going to keep the old brass hardware on it. To whole, start the whole project, you're just going to need to remove all of the hardware on the cabinets. So the next step after taking the hardware is everyone's favorite part, is the sanding. But fortunately with this project, you don't need to do a lot of it. You're not going to take it all the way down, you're just going to rough it up a little bit to get a good adhesion for the paint. For the file cabinet, because I do have some rust spots regardless of sanding, I am going to start it with a spray-on rust prevention primer. Whatever color, doesn't matter. So as you can see, it magically has been primed. We apparently have an elf or a gremlin coming around and stealing footage. Not sure. I feel like I hit record. I don't know. It's definitely Claude. I've decided to name him. His name is Claude. So this next step is going to be adding your wainscoting, your, your dollar store wainscoting to your drawers. So I'm just going to take your frame apart. Um, this one has those little irritating metal tabs. So. I'm gonna work on getting rid of those quick. And try not to break said frame in the process. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Alright, so just pull them out. So maybe that one was easier than I thought. Alright. Two down, more to go. So you can do this molding for your file cabinet with actual molding or you can route out your own. This is just a very quick, easy hack. So it's kind of going to be where it is. Now you're going to take whatever adhesive you feel like. This is what I'm using. Maybe I can get this open. not try that at home. All right. So best thing to do is probably measure out your margin between. I'm just going to eyeball it and bust. Because yeah. You can use hot glue, super glue, wood glue. This is one that I like so let's see okay clean it on Oh, 
time for take two. While that glue is drying, I'm going to switch back over to the metal file cabinet and give it a coat of the gray paint. I picked out a foam roller, mostly because I'm trying to get as smooth of a surface as I can. I probably could have gotten a smoother surface if I got spray paint. But I couldn't find any grays that I like and, you know, if you get the testers, you can pick any color you want, not just the small variety of whatever spray paint's there. I've primed the drawers, now I'm just going to put a coat of gray on them just to act as a background. I am going to be painting these with wood grain texture, but I figure gray is a little bit of a easier color. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Um, gray is just an easier color to kind of cover up than white. And if I get some pop through of gray with the brown, it'll actually add to it instead of the white. So I'm just going to do that. So you've got your old gray and your new gray. It's a very subtle difference, but when everything's dry, it'll makes sense. I just got attached to it being gray. I don't know what to tell you. I wouldn't have painted it if it wasn't for all the rust spots. C'est la vie. Now you get to see uh, a little scenic work in hand. So while that one dries, it's the best part about doing two projects at once. You just go back and forth. So now we're going to go back to the other one take the clamps off, and give that one a couple coats of paint. All right, this is how time to dry. Take these guys off. So. I'm gonna paint these with a small foam roller as well as a brush to get into all the little crevices. I could have painted first and then glued on to avoid all that, but it's going to get a better bond to just the wood and not the paint, so I'm going for that instead of the ease of things. I found this that I pour all over myself. This color is called Arrowhead Lake. It's a compromise colors for me and my husband. Now the little wood file cabinet is now a blue file cabinet. We'll let that dry for a bit and we're gonna switch back gears yet again. And I'm gonna start on a faux finish on these drawers. So all this paint I just got at my local hobby store. I think this came from Michael's. This is all left over from another project. I'm pretty sure I added more colors in as I went. Have a good base for a, uh, a wood grain look. So Claude happened again and well most of the footage is gone but there are some great youtubers out there that can show you how to do a great faux finish. Maybe I'll get to it again another time on another project and I will actually film it and tell you how to do it. Dang it Claude. So once I finish painting the metal grain 
metal grain, good. The wood grain on the metal cabinet, I sprayed over it with a spray on poly. This is to protect it, but also to give it more of a wood look. But this video is full of not having footage. So there's that. Now that the blue cabinet is dried, formerly known as the wood cabinet, I'm going to just take a very light sandpaper. So the frames I chose, I chose brass because, well, the hardware is brass and I know I painted over it, but now I'm gonna take a very fine sandpaper and just lightly distress the frames to get some of that brass to show back through. I also put the hardware back on, but uh, the footage stealing elf must have struck again. Like magic, it's on. So, everything is nice and complete. It's got a finished coat. It's got its faux finish of wood. Now it's just time to put the hardware on. So I had bought these poles, which I have been in love with and I've been finding, trying to find some project to put them on. I feel like this would be a perfect one. It actually took me quite a while to find ones that were big enough, the spacing. So after lots of searching, came across these. They're not quite the color that I want, but that's what spray paint is for. Plus, Here's the original hardware, and obviously it's not the same color. So we're going to make it the same color. I'm going to give it a quick rough up with just a 220 sandpaper, just to get the spray paint to stick a little bit easier. I'm going to then spray them down with an oil rubbed bronze, and we'll go from there. Really just a very you know, light sandpaper. Probably could have gone up, but. No, not at all. Should Scuff up the shine. Sorry, you were so pretty. The same to these guys. Just a quick, just a quick scuff. All right. I just kind of wipe them down. You know, I'm just wiping them on my shorts. Should get a rag, but my work shirts so. so after you've got some good scuffs to them and they're cleaned off of any dust it's time to spray paint them Better. Not as shiny, kind of what I wanted. It's a little more glittery than I had wanted, but I'm just gonna call it good. It does just store all my files after all. Because this is metal and it is very thin, um, the and these are made for something a little thicker. I need a spacer block so the screws will fit. I was gonna use just plain scrap wood I found round, but uh, I was gonna need these while I was spray painting. You don't have to make them this fancy. A little piece of scrap wood will do just fine. It's inside of a drawer after all, but this one's kind of awesome. So take your scrap wood, oh, thank you. take your piece of scrap wood and drill the holes for the drawers. What you can do, what I did, if you line up the block on the side and you poke a pen or a hole, anything just to make an indent, and you take it out and you screw through that. I have it done. So we're going to get things started on here. I get it going through. my trusty assistant. <laughs> so, love of my life, if you could just come in a, I'll hold it, I'll screw it. Now, you have your 
pole. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this project. I love this outcome. I'm so happy that I did this with all the time that we currently have. Well, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, the whole deal. What you may not know is this helps out YouTubers a lot. It lets YouTube know that uh, you enjoy our content. So, do all that stuff. All right, bye guys, see you next week. Let me know in the comments below if you think that Claude is a gremlin or an elf. Uh. So. Hi. I'm messing up the set, dude. Haha, <laughs> stolen. All right, so.